In this example, we want to solve four times cosine of four x equals two on the given interval. Now, it may be tempting to use a double angle identity here and perform a substitution, but that's actually going to complicate things. Since there's only one trig function involved, what we can do is let theta equal four x, and then solve this equation for theta, and then come back and solve for x. So if we let four x equal theta, we would have the equation four times cosine theta is equal to two. And we'll go ahead and solve this equation and then come back and solve for x. So we'll divide both sides by four. We want to determine where cosine theta is equal to one half on the given interval. Having a function value of one half should remind us of a 30, 60, 90 triangle, where we can label the short leg one, the hypotenuse two, and the longer leg square root three. So the cosine of 60 degrees is equal to one half. So we need to sketch a 60 degree reference angle where the cosine function is positive. Well, cosine is positive where x is positive, so we need to sketch a 60 degree reference angle in the first and fourth quadrants. And 60 degrees is pi over three radians. So we have one, two, square root three. And then in the fourth quadrant, this would also be pi over three. This would be negative square root three, and this would be two. So this tells us that theta one would be equal to pi over three radians. And the second angle, which would have the terminal side here, is gonna be equal to two pi, one revolution minus pi over three radians which is going to be five pi over three radians. But remember our job here is to solve for x, not theta. So now we'll replace theta with four x and solve for x. So instead of theta equals pi over three, we actually have four x equals pi over three. So we'll multiply both sides by one fourth. So here we have x equals pi over 12. And the same thing for theta two we have four x equals five pi over three. So multiply both sides by one fourth. So we have x equals five pi over 12 radians. So this process is a lot easier than trying to perform a substitution using these double angle identities and then complicating the equation. We have x equals pi over 12 and x equals five pi over 12.